here we are at beautiful Rancho San Antonio Park in Cupertino, California. Cupertino. Here we are with Chad Johnson, videographer extraordinaire, quadcopter pilot. Quad crazy man. It's important to have a good camping chair for FPV. This one, I dropped about 12 D's on it. That's $12. <laughs> At uh, Big K, because they're trying to distance themselves from Kmart. So I gotta get the battery balanced right. So when I do this and check the balance, I got a nice center of gravity. The goggles. They're called Fat Sharks. I kind of resent that. These guys are purposely buzzing us because they don't like that you decided to set up out here. Mr. Hey, unconventional. Fine. That's fine because... You're I'll, Mr. Unconventional. I'll tear them. Make sure I got me a signal. Oh yeah, I got me a signal. So the best part about so FPV is it's that... It's like to rock out. You look awesome. Okay? You just gotta rock okay. out. Can you dig this? Dig it. I don't know if that's the best place to stand. Dude, this is great. Please. Dude, just don't Gotta chop me. That's, that's the problem. Just don't chop me. Come on. <laughs> There's Todd. There's Chad. Gotta rock out. Don't talk. Cupertino's the best. It's the best in the West. It's just about as far west as a mind can molest.
Okay, come in. Bring it in. Gotta rock out. Gotta rock out. Gotta rock out. Gotta rock out. Story to tell about the road from hell. But actually, the drive was pretty uneventful. Stopped and had a nice lunch in Willet. Didn't get any tickets. My back was a little sore, so I'm rocking the old tram. Or Tramadol. Their glasses. Well, you know how you have a little bit of schmutz on your glasses. How it really bugs you until you can clean your glasses. Well, for the last two months, I have not been able to clean my glasses because they're scratched. Partly responsible for that, but yeah, what can you do? It's glasses. This has been a really great, great microphone check. Great mic check. Mic check, mic check, mic check, check. I was checking the microphone system and mic I decided check, to mic uh, check, mic check, check. find out if my microphone mic was check, working. Check, so mic check, mic check, mic check. I said that mic I wanted check, to mic check, mic, mic just check. rock out. I wanna rock out. Rock out. Drum machine doesn't like to stop. We never wanted to stop anyway. It was always about continuing on. We gotta continue on, man. It's one continuous jam. recording. Yikes. Yeah, my frame's pretty bent up. So, here's what happened. I guess I came in that dive a little too, a little too fast and just hit my front landing gear and shablam shagablamba no broken props my back legs are way spread out but it looks like 
a simple bend job will fix this. So I think we're good to go. At least my FPV, well, it got yanked out, but I think we're okay. The walk of shame is the trail of tears. The trail of RC tears. My advice, never say, I'm gonna go for one more big awesome dive when your battery is low because it's not gonna go right. No, when you go to pull out, it's gonna say, you know what? My voltage feels a little low. I'm gonna go ahead and crash. Shameful, shameful. The level of shame that I feel as a pilot and as an American, as Americans, don't dive one more time when your battery low indicator starts beeping. Don't try to squeeze that last bit of fun out because crashing is shameful. <laughs>